My name is Andrea and this week I'm sharing simple and tasty recipes using smoked sausage. All of my recipes use everyday pantry ingredients and are so easy to make. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipes in the description box. For this first recipe, we're making a sausage skillet. You're going to need the seasonings of your choice. I'm using some onion powder and garlic powder. You're also going to need chicken broth. I actually prefer bouillon. It's cheaper and takes up less pantry space. So I'm using a low sodium bouillon. If you're using chicken broth, you're gonna need two cups. You're gonna need a cup of rice, and you're also going to need a frozen pepper blend. And you're going to need your smoked sausage, of course. My personal preference is Eckridge, so that's what I'll be using for all of my recipes. So let's get started. So we're just gonna start off by slicing our sausage into small rounds. And if you don't like beef or pork sausage, chicken sausage, turkey sausage, would also work for any of these recipes. Next, I'm gonna cook up my frozen veggies. And I have a few tablespoons of oil that I've preheated over medium heat. And I just added in my 12 ounce bag of frozen peppers and onions. And I am going to give these a head start, let some of that water, that ice cook off of the veggies before I add in my sausage. Now, if you prefer to use fresh veggies, you don't have to do this step. You could actually make your sausage or cook up your sausage and veggies all together. But again, because these are frozen, I want some of that water to cook off first before I add in that sausage. Okay, so a lot of the water has cooked out of the veggies and now I'm just adding in my sausage. And I'm just gonna let it all brown together. Okay, so the sausage and veggies are brown to my liking. Now I'm just adding in my rice. I'm gonna stir it around and let the rice get a little brown too. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in my water and my bouillon, gonna give it a little stir. And then I'm gonna reduce the heat I'm going to cover this and simmer it until that rice is tender, which will probably be about 20, 25 minutes or so. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I let the sausage rice simmer for about 25 minutes and I am serving um, the dish with a side of sauteed cabbage that I added a little bit of red bell pepper to. But this is such a quick and easy weeknight meal. Next up, I'm making sausage alfredo. You're going to need a package of smoked sausage sliced, some Parmesan cheese. You're going to need some Creole seasoning, two cups of dry pasta, two cups of heavy whipping cream, and the recipe doesn't call for it, but I like to add a little fresh garlic. So we're gonna start off by cooking our pasta in boiling salted water. While the pasta is boiling away, I'm going to brown my sausage. Okay, now that my garlic is, um, I'm sorry, now that my sausage is nice and brown, I'm just adding in my garlic. Again, this is optional. You don't have to, but I just like garlic. Next, I'm adding in my heavy whipping cream and my Cajun seasoning. And just gonna give it a good stir and let this simmer for just a few minutes until it starts to thicken. Okay, so my sauce has started to thicken. Now I'm just pouring in that Parmesan cheese. And next I'm adding in my pasta that I drained, but don't rinse it. Um, you want that sauce to adhere to your pasta. So just drain it, don't rinse it. And give it a good stir. And then you're gonna remove it from the heat and let it thicken. Okay, so here is the sausage Alfredo. And as you can see, it thickened up nicely. And here is everything all plated up serving it with some garlic bread in a side salad. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Stay tuned for the next one. So the final recipe I'm making for this video is mac and sausage broccoli bake. Now I found this recipe online. It's an old newspaper clipping um, and I'm making some modifications to it, but I'll post the original recipe and then I'll tell you what I'm doing a little bit differently. 
So I've got my smoked sausage cut, and then the recipe calls for 10 ounces of frozen broccoli spears, and I am using um, eight ounces of fresh broccolini that I've cut into two inch pieces. You're gonna need a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. The recipe calls for cream of um, celery soup. I'm not a fan of cream of celery, so I'm using cream of chicken, and it also calls for green onions. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is prepare the mac and cheese according to package directions. Okay, so I've got my macaroni boiling away. You're gonna wanna use a big pot for your macaroni and cheese because you're gonna add some other ingredients to that pot. And the recipe did not call for this, but I decided to brown my sausage. Just a personal preference. If, you know, if it doesn't matter to you, don't worry about it. But I did wanna brown my sausage. Okay, so I just drained my pasta. Now I'm just adding in my milk, the cheese powder, and my butter. And I'm just gonna give it a good stir. All right, next I'm adding in my sausage, my onions, my broccoli, and my cream of chicken soup. And then you're just gonna give it a good stir to get everything all combined. All right, and so now I'm just gonna pour everything into a two quart casserole dish. Okay, so I've got everything in the casserole dish and I just decided that I feel like it kind of needs some cheese or something. So I'm just using this Italian four cheese, <clears throat> excuse me, and just sprinkling a little bit on top. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I am going to cover this and let this bake for about half an hour or until that cheese is nice and melty. Okay, so here is the casserole and here it is all plated up, serving it with a garlic breadstick on the side. This has such a good flavor. That broccoli is nice and tender. I didn't add any salt to it. I really don't think you need it because you've got that cream of chicken soup, which is salty, and of course the um, sausage, which is salty as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video on various ways to use smoked sausage. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.